Ciao guys, I'm Woodier, so in this video you're gonna see how to make the computer recognize and use the Kinect for full body tracking in VR. But first, thank you so much for watching. If you're new from the channel, feel free to check out all the other videos in the channel. And if you like what you see, want to keep being updated about VR and tech in general from PAX and D3 to just click or tap the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. That'd be super appreciated, we lap a lot the channel and basically that's it. Anyway, let's go back in topic and let's see how to make the Kinect work in VR with all the driver and software together in the computer. So let's switch to the computer now. Okay, and here we are on the computer. So first of all, if you didn't check out yet the first video where how to make the Kinect ready for the PC without the adapter, feel free to do it. I'm gonna leave the card over there so you can click on that, put it on the queue for, to watch later or watch now and then come back to this video. Anyway, let's switch now on the view on the computer to see what we need to make it work. So, after having the Kinect prepare, what we have to download, the first thing will be the Windows Runtime 2.0. So Kinect for Windows Runtime 2.0. I'm gonna leave the link below anyway, so don't worry at all. What we have to do is just to download it. And over here, the downloaded is like 18 megabytes, not super big. And this is gonna be useful to make, of course, the are like the driver for the Kinect. So without this, the Kinect will not work, even with adapter on the computer. So what we do with this, after we download it, we just run it and install it. So super easy it's not going to take long anyway. And successfully, so and we close it and then we have to switch on the program that we use to run the Kinect and that will be driver for VR. This program um, is like on purchase for around 19 euro but you can get the free trial to start if you're not sure so you can check it out before and see how it works the thing about the trial is just five minutes in game that absolutely nothing i don't know why they're doing like that but anyway to download we have to register before in the website so we just register we like our name and everything we can use the free as a friend so we click here and username password that you want of course your email address your VR configuration just they're curious to know why you want to use it that so you submit and you do that and at that point you're gonna be able to download the software you're gonna have a page like that let me log in with mine where I bought it already to test it out for you guys and you're gonna be in this page pretty much and you're gonna be able to click on download so we click on download and we download the software that is just like 12 megabytes so nothing nothing super big now when we run download it we can run the software and when that happened let me see okay over here we can accept of course and we install it's gonna prepare it it's gonna create a folder and components and been installed with success. Sometime it's gonna fail, saying that it's not able to find Steam VR. So at that point, in that case, what we can do is just here to look for driver VR installer, and we open it and we click on it on register driver. So we click on it again, components have been installed with success and we are good to go. And at this point, we're gonna switch on the other part of the room because we have to connect the Kinect to the computer and start the setup to make the tracking really, really works. So let's switch right now. Okay, and here we are on the other side of the room. So let's see how to make it work. I'm gonna have to go to the computer that is over here. I put the camera right over the Kinect so you're gonna be able to see what actually the Kinect is seeing. For this demo we're gonna use the Lenovo with its controllers but Oculus and Vive are gonna be good to go too. The Vive is gonna be some interference actually with the Kinect 2 because they use the same ER rays so it can create some problem for the tracking of the controllers and the headset but I tried there too and was pretty pretty good. But anyway, 
let's switch here on the computer and let's see what to do. So, like before, we open Drive Driver for VR. Uh, be sure to open Steam VR 2 before. Uh, sorry, Steam 2 before. So, we open it and it's gonna ask us for username and password. So, we put username and password, we tap on remember, and here we are. We're getting on Steam. You can see a sneak peek of the new update. No, I don't want to revive now. Thank you. Okay, and here you can see that the software is already seen. The mixed reality controllers, one and zero, and our Lenovo Explorer and the driver for VR. There's gonna be the Kinect. So, what we have to do here here is gonna be on off and you have to switch it on skeleton switch it on skeleton is gonna ask to restart the application so what we do we just close the application close steam vr and then we start it again in the same way so let's open it and it's gonna open by itself again steam vr Let's move this here a little so you can see better. And what we have to do now will be to start driver for VR. Let's get there. And it started, as you can see over here, we have the three Kinect that represent the three trackers. And what we have to do now is to go on calibration. So we calibrate and as you can see, there is my skeleton over here. That is pretty by, one by one. So as you can see, the movement are pretty similar. And actually the latency is not gonna be perfect because the Kinect works at around like a 60 millisecond of latency. So a little too much actually for VR, for your head tracking, but will work pretty much okay for just some emulation. So, what we have to do, it's easy. Here we have to select Tracker HMD because so it's gonna use the position of the HMD to start and to be sure that pretty much the hip and the trackers for the feet are gonna be in the right position. Let's put on our controllers too, just in case if we wants to be picky and what we have to do is just to go on calibrate. So, five position to sample. Three when standing and two while crouching. So we're gonna have to fi take five position. Put the headset on and let's start on, let me make it this a little smaller over here. And let's start to go in the different position. So. Open hands and over here, and we do the first. See, we'll see that applause. And the second one, we have to go far, so we're gonna need a lot of room because if we go in the same spot like before, most of the time it's gonna fail because we wanna see different positions. So, third position here, then crouching. Perfect. And now the last one. And here we are. So calibration complete. And now is the moment of the truth. So we're gonna put this on. As you can see on the right part of the screen is what I see on Steam VR. So the void, exactly nothing. And when I'm gonna look down, there should be my feet and my hip going around like in the skeleton. So three, two, one, that's all. And here we are, we have them. So the feet are over there. And as you can see, they follow pretty much, pretty well, I don't know, one by one, but they follow pretty well. And here, it's my, uh, um, it's not that, but it's gonna be my, even if it looks like that, something different from here. Anyway, um, it's like oh, in the opposite way, but, here we are, you can see the movement one by one. Let's do something whoop, like the 
some soccer take. What? Like this. Let's go pretty close. And here we are with the movement. It's pretty, pretty good actually. But let's see in a little sneak peek then how it's gonna be in the game. And guys, for this video is all. You're gonna see in the next video all the gameplay. And anyway, if you like the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Let me know in the comment below what you think about it. And subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general and of course for the next video with some gameplay so that's all for today ciao